Y'all need to loosen up. You're so tense and serious. Saying a funeral. It's close enough, isn't it? It's a murder trial. Y'all need to learn some manners, too. Can't polite to talk like that to a young lady. I repeat, don't say anything trivial or unrelated to this case. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Y'all listen up now and listen good, cause what I'm about to say is true. Cause what I saw is what happened, and this is what that killer did do. I was camping by the lake in my car like Christmas Eve. I reckon was past me out when I heard a big bang pow, and I looked around only to see the absurd. Two gents in a boat, the only thing out on the lake, not an air thing around I could see. There was another bang, and not a dang thing could have done what I saw there be. Witness, you're saying that you saw the murder take place? Sure did. Y'all listen real good now, I heard two dang gunshots that night. When I heard the first one, I looked out at that boat. Then there was another flash, and someone fell into the water. Hold it. The witness is clearly lying. It couldn't have been that way, y'all. For you see, it was not Christmas Eve. It was Christmas Day. Ha! Objection. Impertinent. Unrelated. To the case. No matter what mistake she makes, we know when the crime took place. Well? Miss Hart, please tell me why were you at the lake? I'm taking photos for a classic country you. What kind of class could you be more specific, ma'am? What exactly is it that you do? Objection. Irrelevant. What a waste of my time. In future, restrict your questions to the events of the actual crime. Okay. Uh, let's see. When you looked at the lake, could you clearly see the men? Ain't the photo proof enough for you? No. It isn't. I'm asking if you saw them. Objection! This tells us nothing new. Were you looking at the lake when you heard the second shot? Well, sure. I guess I was. Were you or were you not? Enough. I think we have heard all we need to hear. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction after all. I must agree. Mr. Wright, any outbursts fearing my verdict and I'll find you in contempt of court. No! Nick. This court finds the defendant, Miles Edgeworth- Hold it! What? This is really intolerable. Who was that? It was me. Maya, what are you- A lot of your testimony's real strange. Is it possible to see anyone at that range? You're being unclear about what you saw. How do you account for this flaw? Did you even see it worth at all? Object! Hey, what's the big Enough idea? This I saw him! I swear it! I saw Judge, it worth! declare the defense in contempt of court. Now. Very well. You were warned, Mr. Wright. Bailiff, please remove this man no, from the wait! Please! It was me who spoke out! Nick didn't do anything! Maya, don't! So here I am until the end Don't despair the truth's in sight Don't worry about me Maya. In darkest times you show no fear You stood up to lend me your light Okay, you win back in the fray Why jump into my bullet's way? For no one fights quite like Truth in sight. Sight, of course! Your Honor, please! Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. This wasn't in her testimony before. This means she has a new testimony, and I have a right to cross-examine her again. Objection! Pathetic. It's too late for baseless claims. The girl's already paid the price. Say one more word, you'll get the same. Judge, continue with your verdict. I'm sorry, but I cannot. What? Mr. Wright is correct. He may cross-examine the witness again. 
This is still a court of law, Mr. Von Karma. Ha! Listen well, Mr. Wright. I will not tolerate badgering of my witness. Miss Hart, please repeat your testimony. The man on the boat was Edgeworth. This photo is my proof. I saw him clear as day, and I swear I'm telling the truth. You claimed there was a contradiction, so find it. I saw That's all. what I saw. That's it. And I heard what I heard. There's nothing I can see. I may say a lot of things. That's it. But I mean it's every right in front of word. Me. Objection! Got you, Miss Hart. Finally.